Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very, very excited to watch the next episode from My Hero Academia. And this is because one of the things that surprised me the most about this war arc wasn't the heroes at all. The thing that surprised me the most of this arc was Mr. Compress. The thing that he he did in the manga it was the most memorable thing about the war arc. Honestly, to me, that's the most memorable thing about the war arc. I mean, sure, it had different moments, like um, like what happened with uh, Mirko, with uh, Crust, Midnight. But I don't, I don't know. To me, uh, Mr. Compress, to me, was the thing that topped it the most. And I'm really, really hoping to do justice to it because what he does completely shocked me and I'm hoping I'm hoping they do justice to it and of course we're already getting tease about the other quirk uh, Midoriya Deku has so let's begin Jeez endeavor And of course, that thing started working just now. And of course, Bakugo looks too clean. Come on. Final performance. Oh, wow, they're barely animating this. This should have been animated when we got into the villain arc, not here. Yeah, we get introduced to those guys who hate uh, quirks like spinners. So they don't even have the money for it. Oh, man. They animated the scene, but it should have been animated during the Bidon arc. おめえは焼き殺し回ってるだけじゃねえか。一人でも連れてきたことあったか。ゴミしか言うんだ。何を殺しに行くただ生きてるだけのゴミだよ。おめえなんか何なんだよ。てめえだけはだな。俺たち一
心にはずっと何もなかった夕方の報道番組でスペインの最後を見るまで俺は初めて世の中が窮屈なんだと知った生きてもたってもいられなかったそしてここにいる今はいいバラッのどっちでやろうかそうだ俺はすっからかんだのさだからこのだらけた現状がわからねえこの計画はあぶち開けられると思ってたこの退職にしがらき俺たちはどこに向かってるんだ少し前まで俺たちは飯の心配までしなくちゃいけないくらい不思議だった主義も主張もバラバラでそれでもなんとかなったそうだな俺ミランベンコ好きだったぜずっと苦手なミランベンコボツガールガッツベルスペイズジョスクラクミアンバ But he does, here's wow.、Mm, let's see. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <sighs> It's insane what he did. Yeah. Oh, his clothing. Oh, my God. Dude, Mr. Compress. I remember. I'm glad they kept this. And who is Mr. Compress? Man. Oh, jeez, t h e r e fight. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. His face, wow. Oh, God. Please tell me he doesn't die. Okay, thank God. Oh, no, he did die. Shit. <gasps> oh. Oh. 
なってたいつの間に千鳥君はよかった生きてきた今はただここに来てから何度も怒ってこの頭を刺すような感覚そうかこれはいえ The fourth quirk. Oh, that's right. He's awake. Yep. He senses it. Oh god, his voice! Oh god. No, wait. Ah oh, man, best genius. That's the whole point. If you stay there, you're gonna lose. Wow. Come on, dude. That's all for one for. Oh, God. Man, you know, you're mixing me up. It's all for one. I, I'm really happy what they did here with the boys here. Goodness, it caught me off guard. Oh, 
Damn. Oh my god, Midoriya, don't be stupid! <gasps> Damn! <laughs> I think we're gonna see the aftermath of this war. I'm gonna have to use this song, man. They might have won the battle, but honestly, they lost the war. Oh, come on, I had to end it this way. Not fair. <laughs> oh, it's a little different there. Okay, I want to see the preview. Oh, new song? Kitakasu. Yep. What's gonna happen? Hell the shell. Yep. Okay, wow. They actually did a pretty good job uh, animating this whole war arc, especially the part with Mr. Compress, where we learn his origins and how, how he, he refers himself to be a side character, but look what he did. He gave them the chance to escape. If it weren't for him, uh, Shigaraki would have been caught. But the moment they put the mask and how we hear uh, all for one's Voice, dude, that thing was f creepy. <laughs> Honestly, it caught me off guard. I was not expecting for them to do that. So, if they are gonna do a second part for this season, 
we're gonna have like 24 to 25 episodes in total. So that means they're gonna animate um I guess the second part of the war arc. I mean you could consider it its mini arc, but but honestly I think it's its own arc and it's the the Tartarus uh outbreak arc. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. But trust me, it's going to get worse. Do you think this is it? No, nah, trust me, it's going to get worse. I mean, like I said before, the the heroes might have won the battle, but they lost the war. And you'll see uh, why I mean. I mean, they're completely bruised. We lost so many heroes, people, and it's still not the end. I mean, with Dobby's revelation, the trusting heroes, it's... It's shattered, and we'll see the consequences of Endeavor's uh, story. So I'm thinking they're gonna do the Tartarus um, prison outbreak, which it's a it's a pretty chilling arc too. I don't know if they're gonna. I think I know how they're gonna end the the season. Definitely, I think I know. I mean, they've been teasing it how. A little bit in the second open I mean second opening in the ending and I, I guess we're gonna get it uh, a new ending and a new opening at the same time to to show the second part of the season which is I'm very very excited I mean we got a little bit of a teaser about uh, this new song so I'm very very excited so yeah they're gonna take a break for uh, New Year's so they should be back by uh, let me check my calendar. Uh, by the 7th of uh, January, yeah. So they are going to take a break. Which gives me time to <laughs> catch up. Because, goodness, I have, I'm have i so far behind work because of the holidays. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I got to spend time with my family. Celebrate the holiday, holidays with them. I'll watch some uh, TV shows. Just sit around. Talk about such... <laughs> stuff and to me that uh that's the greatest present of all just spending time with my family have a good laugh just remembering uh the old times <laughs> i think that's the best present i ever gotten every single day and it's even extra special on the holidays so yeah my hero academia is gonna it's gonna continue for quite a bit so i'm very very excited uh for the next arc I mean, I kind of did like a little bit of a spoiler, but that's all I'm going to say about the the next arc. I mean, it could be considered its next arc, but it could also be part of the uh, the war arc. But a lot of people refer it as the Tartarus, uh, Tartarus Prison Outbreak arc. And I'm not going to say the next arc, because that's a, too much of a spoiler. I'll very likely reveal it uh, at the end of the when we get closer closer to the end of the season and it wouldn't be much of a spoiler but overall i think they did a pretty good job animating the war arc i mean i love the fact that we didn't start with a filler episode because on honestly that just pisses me off i'm glad we didn't start that way i mean the voice acting the animation was voice acting incredible animation it was actually pretty good but there were some parts where it's just, I'm like, especially in the, uh, around the beginning of the episode, we see the damage, but we see Bakugo all clean. Like, he has no injuries. I mean, come on. And I, I was hoping that would do more effect on the injuries, because trust me, this guy, is, especially Bakugo, looks far more injured than he's being portrayed here. And that's the only thing that kind of pissed me off. I mean, also, Endeavor looks m more injured. Shoto, I mean, the fight with Shoto and Dobby was amazing, especially Dobby's stance that episode. Goodness, I, <laughs> I continue replaying that part, especially his dance, because the voice acting for uh, Dobby, props to the voice actor. He did such a phenomenal job. I bet he had the, <laughs> the best time of his life showing Dobby's uh, crazy insane sight honestly i think that's one of the best episodes for my hair academia also Kok, uh koski bakugo rising where he protects uh deku 
amazing episode as well. But overall, they did a good job on the war arc. If I were to rate it at 10, I think it's going to be an 8. I can't, I can't go with a 10 because there were some parts where, yeah. And one of the things that kind of pissed me off is that they barely decided to animate uh, that little scene where they go into this cult that hates um, quirks like spinners. They should have animated that arc a while ago. I mean, that scene a while ago in the my, my Billion Academy arc. It should have been there. And I was like, oh, of course, they barely animated it here. And it just doesn't so well there. It, it belonged to my Billion Academy arc. I mean, they did a good job showing uh, Mr. Compress's uh, story because, goodness, uh, you get to see and a little bit more about Mr. Compress. There's hardly any information about him, but what he did here honestly just blew my mind in, in the manga and it blew my mind here how well they adapted it. Overall, they did a good job. It's honestly a solid 8 out of 10. Way better than the last season. But honestly, that scene they animated right now belong in my building in academia not here <sighs> but i guess man the next episode <laughs> i was hoping we'll get to see this week but it's going to be till next not this week next week where we see the aftermath of the war wow it's almost <laughs> five o'clock <laughs> yeah i better stop recording because gonna they're gonna start barking <laughs> So overall, uh, I really enjoyed this first part of the season for My Hero Academia. They did a good job on it, honestly. I'm very, very impressed. Hoping they do a good job for the next part. Like, pretty please. <laughs> Don't start <laughs> going bad like you did on the last season. But there's many good animes coming next year, so I'm very, very excited for that. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video.